fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? Um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are on the far bottom of a very long list. Now, I'm worried less about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who pays our wages. Ah, yes. The risk of being hanged as a traitor. What? Give me the damn posters, will ya? It'll... Get down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his. Some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. And he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. <laughs> and maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, <laughs> give your old man some credit, Marwen. It might surprise you yet. 
The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ oh, lives right See above the carpet shop. Yep, According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Mega Charter series. Jeez. Both know Reza Zayden is no mastermind. <laughs> you said it. You said it. Dogs are going to regret this. Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN oh, reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive.
Empress is here. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Damn, we're rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, I think you could do something about the lights. Upstairs somewhere. Thanks. Sorry, but I need to check if you were carrying anything illegal or dangerous. Nearly done. Well, I heard he did an Iron Man in Hawaii last year. Okay, you can go through. That's nice, Jenny. Their own legislation. Misunderstood. How do you mean? None of those transactions. Everything was done in strict accordance. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, I'm sorry. Massage expert Connie Engstrom reported at the reception desk. No harm done. That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. So, into assembly, right. <clears throat> okay. Naked guy is... It is not fair. It is... It is... Hey, okay, my bad. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... What? Cam, help!
According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently Engstrom, already checked masseur, into the building. Here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. You can relax. No need to flex, sir. Flying colors. Go ahead, sir. Oh, good. There you are. The Klaus Strandberg. They call me Klaus. So, to the massage room, shall we? This muscle tension is killing me, and I, I don't have a lot of time. Lead the way. So, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. That's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, uh, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about. So they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. I own a private jet. I made it. But tell you what, you seem like a sensible guy. So I'll give you this one for free. You should pack up and leave the country, because things are about to become unpleasant. So I feel... Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Mr. Angstrom. Say what? Prison transport this morning. 
So he, uh, got cold feet and tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart, but uh, pretty human. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. You're dismissed. General Satan's orders. Is... is someone in here? Uh, yes, sir. Hello? Thank you, sir. Good plan. Zidane won't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner. Time to decide. What should I do? But don't tell me you're sleeping, Syed. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Oh dear, oh, oh. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, I have to run to the bathroom. That's not you, man, going around. I was in bed all week, came out both ends. Been in life. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, in case of an emergency, Strandberg and Zaydan will meet face to face at the center of the underground tunnel. The conspirators can summon each other over the phone using a set of keywords, one of which is locked away in Rosa Zaydan's safe. Hmm. What if? thinking. Strandberg is on the move, and we know exactly where he's going. So, in case of an emergency, Strandberg and Zaydan will meet face to face at the center of the underground tunnel. The conspirators can summon each other over the phone using a set of keywords, one of which is locked away in cause of Olanda's safe.
cherry blossom. God damn it! I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm in the middle of a military operation. I... Very well. I'll be there as fast as I can. General? General Zedan? Hello? Guess I can wait. Stratton. General? Well, spit it out. What's so important you can wait until after the operation? I beg your pardon. You summoned me. Oh, what? Well, you called Olander on the secure dime and told him the code word. Honeycomb? I didn't know such thing. I... Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Something's going down. You show yourself. Finally. Uh, you must be Orlander's intern, Klaus Strandberg. Did you bring the things I requested? Follow me. Lead the way. Did you have trouble getting into the building? Ah, uh, I'm gonna miss that penthouse. Best view in all of Marrakesh. So, uh, where is my stuff? I trust you got my father's watch. What, Kath got your tongue? Are you telling me you haven't gone yet? What the hell's the matter with you? Don't you see I'm in a hurry? Get going right now, for if I'm airlifted out of here and my father's watch ends up in a two-bit pawn shop somewhere, I will personally make sure intern becomes the high point of your career. We're done here. Please don't... Oh. Uh, uh. Uh. 
Next up, raise the Zaydan. Consulate employees this way, I'm afraid. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Can't let anyone through here. Not even constantly. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. This whole man's man attitude. Deep booming voice and chest hair, right? Come on. Everyone knows Zayden is just an upper class fop. His dad was Secretary of State, and his family. <laughs> Let's 
split before anyone sees us. Just tell my father and all the protesters did it. You made it. Come, Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Access Stanberg. to the consulate and first row seats Let for the interview. Nicely. Down 47. How do you feel right now? Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Oh. Come on, everybody, move along. This area is on lockdown. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace.
Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Oh, I really appreciate it, man. Hi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have we have homemade saffron, saffron and cinnamon. Is that an authentic fortune teller costume? Come closer. Our colorful lamp is the one. Absolutely. That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper overthrow. of the peace. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. <laughs> <laughs> 